My name is Nick from 50 Campfires. I'm Clint from 50 Campfires. Clint, you know what I hate about you? Oh, right out of the gates. Wow. It's, Let me have it's it. Something I hate and love is that you have a strong opinion about stuff. Very much so. And for the last, let's say, three years, I've been feeling peer pressure from you. Mm -hmm. Extreme mm -hmm. peer pressure. Does that have anything to do with what's on the table? It has to do with my pants. <laughs> Actually, more specifically, your pants. And why you yes. think your pants are better than my pants. And I still think this. Well, today we're talking about <laughs> fleece-lined and flannel-lined pants. Yes. And this is the thing that Clint's been kind of poking me about. I have a soapbox about flannel-lined jeans. What do you love about flannel-lined jeans? So we live in the frigid cold of Minnesota, and it completely, completely transforms your winter experience. So, you know, it gets down it's below seven zero. seven degrees here today. Yeah, seven, uh, it's like three or four when we got up this morning. Right. Very cold. Uh, you're warm all the time, and also, it's because of the flannel on the inside. To you, it feels like you're wearing pajamas. Super, super comfortable. Uh, to any passerby, it looks like you're just wearing a pair of jeans. So what you've been knocking me about is that I just wear regular jeans. Right? Yeah. Nothing lined on the inside. Yeah. And it, literally every day in the winter, you are wearing flannel lined pants. Every single day. So walk me through. Every so single you, day. One, they feel like pajamas. Yeah. Right? Is, is, that, is that the only thing? No, no, no. You're much, much warmer. Correct. Okay? That's the thing. So I went out this last week, two weeks ago, and bit the bullet. And you know what you know, what you know about me? What you hate about me? Because I'm always a one-upper, right? I, I, like True you story. tell me about something and I'm like, True story. I'm going to go get that. I'm going to make Clint jealous with whatever I buy. Yes. So I went out and bought my first pair of fleece lined pants uh, two weeks ago and wore them out. And I, I agree with everything you've said so far, right? They feel like pajamas. I was, that, I was so happy to hear you come in and be like, they're, they're, they're kind of a thing. The worst part was Maybe my end, new favorite pants. At the end of the night, I didn't want to take them off. I know. I was like, I pull it, you know, like get into bed. I'm you, like, Ooh. You feel a layer of protection against the elements in the environment that you don't get from a, just a pair so of jeans. So what do we have here? So, Walk me through your, this so is we're your gonna, personal collection. This right? is my personal collection. We're going to run through uh, Funnel and Jeans, which uh, transformed my life about five years ago. Uh, so on this side here, we have my personal favorite, which is Mountain Khakis. Uh, the best thing about these, which yours also have, which we can get to, is that they have, and you can find uh, regular jeans that have this as well, they have what Mountain Khaki calls an action gusset, okay? So there's a little bit of a spread here. Now, for a guy, um, that makes it incredibly... Like you and I. Like both of us. <laughs> Just that makes to it fit into that category. Incredibly comfortable if you have to bend down and do any kind of squatted work or anything like that. And it's also extremely comfortable for driving. Ordinarily, I wouldn't put on a pair of jeans if I was going to have you in car for six hours. I want to see you driving. You got your like, foot up on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, because I'm all crunched uh -huh, up. Uh -huh. they're, they're just incredibly comfortable. They're a five pocket. The pockets are very, very deep. Um, and they're just a great jean. They are uh, uh, currently very difficult to find. There's just a little bit left for the winner on their website. Th th but this comfort and all the extra stitching comes with the price. They're going to be probably 55, 60 bucks. Move over to the flannel jean that I started with five years ago. These are your starter jeans? These are my starter jeans. You should put these in a memory box and pass <laughs> them along to someone. Old Navy flannel line jeans. Old Navy, you can find those. I mean, there's Old Navy's everywhere. Old Navy's are all over the place, but you have to get the flannel line jeans online. Oh, all they the don't people stock that, them in the store. All the people that buy all of the beachy kind of summer stuff for Old Navy don't know they have flannel jeans. Flannel they put line down jeans. people that buy beachy stuff? No. Okay, good. But they do, make, uh, they do make winter kind of winter gear. They do. Uh, enough people know about these. They are uh, reasonably priced. You can get them for 40 bucks. Yeah. They have a hard time keeping them in stock. They are currently out of stock. Old Navy is out of stock flannel and jeans, unfortunately. So these are also very comfortable. They ride, they sit a little bit low. I picked up a new pair. So this is a pair of Carhartt's flannel and jeans. Cool, Carhartt makes great stuff. They make great durable stuff. Well known stuff. for durable. Best part about these, 33 bones. <laughs> Cheap. And, lights out. and Mountain Khaki, this is a 10.8 ounce denim on this, 15. We were doing this earlier, when you lift this up compared it's to a this. a heavier pair of jeans. Yeah, so if you're looking for like protection from the elements and you're outside, it's hard to go wrong with this. My, the only thing I don't like about them is they don't have that gusseted crotch area that makes it a lot more comfortable. And a lot of the Carhartt stuff, if you look at this comparison here. Do you know what that's called? 
the no. area between here and here? No. It's the rise of a pair of jeans. The rise of a pair of jeans. I have a confession. I worked in a retail clothing store early on in my high school career. And so you can really go on about, about this. You got no, it. I'm like, this is a test right now for you. They sit a lot higher on the waist. The, bo the benefit of that is you almost don't even need a belt. Because they just they yeah. if you're outside work and they just stay up really really well. Yeah. Um, I like something that sits a little bit a little bit lower, uh, but that's just kind of how Carhartts, Carhartts are, are set up. All right. So two weeks ago, I finally drank your Kool Aid about fleece and flannel lined pants. You did. I went out and invested in a pair, being the one upper I am. Yeah. I bought myself a pair of Duluth Trading Company fire hose flex fire flex fire hose. It's a fine pair. Bonded oh. fleece jeans, fleece line pants. Okay, you got it. You pretty and much I got it. I wore them. <laughs> you get the idea. I'll I got the idea. Maybe Jeff can put a subtitle yeah, on Yeah, there this. you go. Help you out a little right, bit. So, but I went out and I bought the best pair I could find, the highest rated, and I wore them for pretty much a whole week. Yeah. You don't want to take I've, them off. Like, let's see what these are like. Right. First off, the things that I listen to, I truly do listen to what you have to say. First of all, this is called bonded fleece. So unlike your uh, flannel line jeans, mm -hmm. where the flannel and the jean are two separate things, right? The fleece is actually bonded to the jean or to the pant material. Of these. Yeah. So they don't. There's no kind of scrunching and bunching of. And if I had to guess, what's what that's going to be better for is because these are separate. There are going to be sp spots. They're still incredibly comfortable, but there will be spots inside the jean where there's going to be a little bit more friction and. Right, because the flannels rubbing up against the jean. This will wear through before this will wear through. Right. Well, plus Duluth makes pants that are designed for work, right? Yeah. Like, this is something you're out climbing high power lines or something. Right. You could put these on. The mistake I made with these is I took these out. I went out ice fishing with my son. Mm -hmm. I wore these, but I also put long underwear on underneath them. Too hot. It's too I much. Was, I was warm, man. <laughs> so that was the first day. From there on, I learned my lesson. Yeah. All triple stitched. And you and I were looking at these before we started here. And so it's triple stitching, and there's just a ton of pockets. Yep. And like you said about those, the pockets are just super deep. I mean, I can almost go elbow yeah. deep yeah. in the I like pocket. That. Nothing's falling out. Uh, it's got great Velcro for the closures. I wasn't worried about my wallet falling out. Yep. Uh, I was out with a buddy who actually drove his truck off the road. Mm. And I had a, we had to jack his, we had to get his car out of the ditch. But I had these on, okay. and I was down in the snow as if I was wearing snow pants, and they were awesome. So I drank your Kool-Aid. I'm probably going to be buying more <laughs> of these. But yeah. uh, the, yep. the value, if you live in kind of the ice belt or anywhere in the north, and you need to keep warm in the winter, flannel line and fleece line pants are really where it's at. For sure. You don't have to wear long underwear every day or a base layer every day. Yep. You can if you want. Uh, they keep you warm, and at the end of the day, you really don't want to take them off. Yep. And then my thing is always T-shirt, a light T-shirt, and then whether it's a final shirt or a sweater or whatever. But then, because some people are like, don't they get too hot at work? Well, if you can drop down to a T, then you're fine. You can kind of mo modulate that easily. So, yep. Yeah. So that's why we love, I'm a believer now. Clint's always been a believer. He's you're got on me board. Converted. And uh, if you live somewhere cold, go out and buy yourself a pair of line pants.